Just trying to get a little calm. Because just saying the words is going to make me mad. Mariners lose 7-5. to five. They've lost 2 of 3 on this road trip. Or this road trip. This road trip. They've lost a lot more than 2, Chris. They've lost 2 of 3 to the Rays. They fall to 79-63 and 63 on the season. We'll go over the scoring plays. Mariners get off to a nice start, as they often do. Dominic Canzone walks with the bases loaded to score J.P. Crawford, and Ty France gets a two-run single that makes it 3-0. First inning, Isaac Isak, excuse me, I always get that one wrong, uh, doubles to left, and a Rosarina scores on a horrific play by Dominic Canzone. That makes it 3-1. Mariners get another one in the second with a Julio Rodriguez homer that we'll talk about, one of the crazier plays I've seen. Don't see very many homers that get caught in the middle of left field, but that's what happens. 4-1. Fifth inning, Brandon Lowe doubles home Taylor Walls and Jonathan Aranda for three. Taylor Walls in the seventh. Oh, gosh. The seventh inning is just killing me right now, folks. In multiple games. Taylor Walls singles home Jonathan Aranda. Andy Diaz doubles to left to score Walls 5-4. Mariners get very lucky in the eighth inning. Uh, Robert Stevenson throws a wild pitch that scores A. Eugenio Suarez after Suarez reached on an air. 5-5, uh, five, five, but in the ninth inning. Yandy Diaz hits a walk-off home run off of Taylor Saucedo, 7-5. Before I lament doing this, let's thank the good people of Simply Seattle. Because even when you're watching the Mariners play bad, and I'm also kind of watching the Huskies not be able to catch the football, Simply Seattle still provides the very best in Seattle sports gear, whether you're looking for stuff for the Mariners, the Seahawks, the Huskies, the Sonics, the Kraken, Anything you could possibly be thinking of Seattle sports related, you can find it simply Seattle. And you can use also use code MollyWap15 to save 15% off your order. That's M O L L Y W H O P 1 5. Use that at checkout. You will save 15% off your order. It's good stuff. And we thank Simply Seattle for sponsoring the show. I'm baffled. I am truly baffled by the decisions made today by the Seattle Mariners manager. You're looking for some positives, right? Let's let's try to be positive. Let's look at the upside in life. Uh, Julio, 2-4 with a homer. Let's talk about that homer. Hits the catwalk, bounces right into Rosarina's glove. That was crazy was very confused what was happening because the announcer did a terrible job explaining what was happening again. Uh, that's really your only positive offensively. Ty France dumps the ball into second base. Whoopie flipping do. Brian O'Keefe just misses a homer. I, th I thought it was gone. Would have been fun. Just celebrating anything he does offensively. If somebody trying to tell me he's good offensively, a bunch of you actually based on his Tacoma numbers. Stop it. Uh, that's it. The positives pitching-wise, Topa was excellent. Um, really, really nice job. And the only player who was used correctly today. And Trent Thornton. Trent Thornton did a nice job, too. Um, you know, he gives up the double, so... It wasn't like he was completely not to blame for that run scoring, but if Dominic Canzone is a competent outfielder, that run doesn't score. And that's big. That's big, because the game wouldn't have gone to extra innings, probably. Huh. I think you can sense in my tone that I'm pretty ticked off. And I wish, I wish, I, I do wish... <laughs> I sound like that kid who's trying to uh, describe his dream, you know? I both wish and don't wish that I could feel like this right now. Because I'm glad that the Seattle Mariners have put me into position to feel like this. But I'm furious that they're in this position and some boneheaded decision-making is costing them games. It cost them last night. And it, or yes, last night, and it definitely cost him this afternoon. My goodness gracious, just the worst managed game I've seen from Scott Service, and it's not even close. And it just so happens to be in the biggest game of the year. Now, tomorrow's just as big, but 
today was a massive game, a massive opportunity to steal a game on a bullpen day. And you blow it by just incompetent managing. I'm, I'm going that far. Incompetent. Let's start with the usage of Luke Weaver, who was terrible today. Terrible. He gives up. He didn't get, he only gave up. Um, he probably should have gotten away with only giving up two runs. But he wasn't good. It was blatantly obvious that Luke Weaver was just hoping that line drives were going to be caught. He sucked. And you leave him in there for four and a third innings. The fact that Luke Weaver started that fourth inning of work, fifth winning of work, excuse me, is incompetence. It's absolutely incompetence. It makes me wonder how much you give a crap about winning. It is one of the most baffling, stupid decisions in both process and result that I have seen from a Seattle Mariner manager. What are you doing? And if you don't trust your bullpen this much, quit. Resign. Because clearly you don't have a full working staff. And you can't do your job to the best of your ability. And I'm telling you right now, if the Seattle Mariners don't make the postseason, you fire Scott Service hour one after the regular season is over. Because he has cost you several baseball games. And I can point to the games that he has lost. Very easily. Here, you can talk all you want about how great he is of a clubhouse guy he is, and that's important. It's really important. But the decision-making, especially on this road trip, has been dog crap. Holy goodness gracious. And then you bring in Gabe Spire, which is an awful decision. And it's not because I don't like Gabe Spire. Why are you doing that? You, you're bringing in a lefty there. It just sets up perfectly. For them to pinch hit their right-handed guys. The thing the Tampa Bay Rays have is the platoon advantage that the Mariners desperately want. Desperately. Asking Yandy Diaz to do this, it's stupid. Asking, excuse me, I'm stupid now. Asking Gabe Spire to get Yandy Diaz out is stupid. Because it's the most obvious pinch hit in the history of pinch hits. Yandy Diaz crushes left-handed pitching. And so then you get Topot through. Great job. Used a player pitcher in the actually correct situation. Kudos to you, Scott Service, you genius of geniuses. Then you bring in Taylor Sussetto. And I like the decision to bring in Sussetto. As soon as a runner gets on, you have to have a righty come into that game to face Andy Diaz. And instead, you dumbly, not dumbly, not a word, you stupidly, incompetently, all the leads you want to use, leave Taylor Saucedo in to face Andy Diaz again. Incompetent. I'm so ticked off. I'm so ticked off. A game that was tailor made for you to win. You get those early four runs. You get lucky with Weaver getting through some hard contact, and you leave him in for four and a third innings. What are you doing? Matt Brash and uh, Andre Munoz, they better be like completely unavailable. And even then, I just don't get this bullpen usage. Horrific job. And you know what? Not a great job by the offense after the second inning either. You get three early ones because Aaron Savali couldn't find the strike zone. He looked like George Kirby in that first inning. And then he gives up the homer to Julio. And then the Mariners did jack crap until the eighth inning, and they took advantage of an error. This sucks. I didn't like this at all.
I don't know what else to say. I truly don't know what else to say. <laughs> there are so many games on this road trip that you should have won. Such a golden opportunity. Such a golden opportunity to win this game. And your manager just flushes it. It just flushed. And you know what? A lot of this blame, too, goes to Gerard DePoto and Justin Hollander. Because you're throwing a bullpen day on September, September 9th, whatever the heck day today is. You're throwing a bullpen day because you didn't go get a starter and you're using bad relievers in part because you traded your closer. For guys who just haven't been nearly good enough to justify that trade, not even close. The Mariners have played well in spite of that trade. I think Canzone could be a nice player. I think Rojas is better than what they've gotten at second base, but not nearly enough. And I really like Ryan Bliss. As I've said a billion times, I love this trade on November 1st, 2023, or even November 1st, 2022. But I hate this trade now, and it's really hurt you. It's really, really hurt you. The decision to leave Luke Weaver in is one of the stupidest things I've seen from a manager all year. And folks, I watch a lot of baseball. This is not a small sample size. It's incompetent. And then it's incompetent not to bring a right-hander in to face DS. Just infuriating. I'm not even going to do my whole like and subscribe stuff because I'm, I'm, too, I'm too ticked off. I'm going to go play with my dogs. I'm going to go enjoy the weather. I'm going to try to forget this game and hope that the Mariners can salvage a split in this series. They don't deserve it, but hope. <laughs>